that what is anantam, that what is infinite, that what is limitless, and such limitless sukham, we say is Parmeshwara. This is Satyam Jnanam Anantam Brahma, Vijnanam Anandam Brahma. This is Parmeshwara. And when Sri Krishna uses this word first person singular, you will not know because this is what he means. He does not mean a particular, particular person, a particular God, a particular deity. No, no, no. He means that what is naturally desired by everyone. And because this is what you truly desire, and this is what you ultimately desire, then when you do not attain it, your entire life you are striving to make yourself happy. Right from the womb to tomb, the only mission that every person is on is his seeking happiness. Now don't try by saying that, well, I don't want to be happy, I want to make only my husband happy. <laughs> I, I, I was just a hypothetical thing. <laughs> if you answer that truly, you are going to find that, yes, this is what I want. And this is what I truly want. Then in Vedanta, the Upanishad is going to tell you, what you want is Parmeshwara. Because this Sukham, which is Anantam, is what we call as Brahma. And if your life goes waste without attaining it, if you spend your life without attaining this Parmeshwara, it is a total waste, total waste. And therefore, when Sri Krishna is giving this warning that people who are endowed with Asuri Sampat, such people do not attain me, that means Bhagavan is giving you this caution that not attaining me means you miss the bus. And that is why people living over here, at the end of their life they say, we did everything but we are still, you know, not satisfied. Marte Samayi Pauji, what is your last wish? Bring me one pakoda. <laughs> I know, life is eating pakoda, but still. Then there are some people who have this, you know, they are, they are used to spirituality, different spirituality, you know. What you don't know. In all the American Indian houses, I have found that in their cupboards. You have special. Yeah? It is there properly kept. Puja Sahitya. It is there. <laughs> Bhagavan says that this fellow, not Bhagavan, this, this old man says, oh, you know, after I die also, for my shraddha, you keep one cup of, you know, otherwise the crow will not come. <laughs> At 30, the last. <laughs> what happened, sir? Why did you miss the bus? Why do you feel that you have missed life? Really speaking, you have not missed life. What you have missed is Parmeshwara. And you don't take recognition of this. And this is, this is, this is the problem. And therefore, when Bhagavan says, Maam Aprapya, they die without attaining me, which means they defeat the purpose of their own liberty. This is the case. And hence, we have these two sampat, the two, two, two wealth, two forms of wealth. One is called as the Daivi sampat, and the other one is called as the Asuri uh, Sankar, the demonic wealth. Okay? 
What is that? Let us see it.